Did you know there's a fish that can fly? That's right, it swims underwater, leaps into the air and glides like a bird. Welcome to the world of the flying fish, one of nature's most incredible creatures. Flying fish belong to the family Exoquetidae, and there are around 40 species of them. They don't technically fly like birds, they glide, but their gliding is no joke. They can soar for up to 200 meters, that's more than two football fields, and stay airborne for over 40 seconds. So, how does a fish take flight? Flying fish have unusually large, wing-like pectoral fins. They build up speed underwater, often hitting 60 kilometers per hour, and launch themselves into the air. Once airborne, they spread their fins and glide over the ocean surface. Some even flap their tails while gliding, hitting the water to stay up longer, almost like a bird flapping its wings. The Exocoetidae don't take to the skies for fun. They do it to survive. These glides are, well, an escape tactic from underwater predators like tuna, marlin and dolphins. Taking to the air gives them a temporary break from danger, but of course there are threats above the water too, like birds and humans. You can spot flying fish in warm ocean waters around the world, from the Atlantic and Pacific to the Indian Ocean. They often leap in groups, especially when chased. Some cruises in the Caribbean even advertise flying fish sightings as a tourist attraction. In some cultures, flying fish are a delicacy. In Barbados, they're even a national symbol. Their unique behavior has inspired myths, science, and even aircraft design. Their streamlined bodies and gliding mechanics have fascinated engineers for years. So, next time you're near the sea and see something flying just above the waves, take a closer look. It might just be the amazing flying fish. And until next time, stay safe.